Welcome to MD Conversation. This module discusses a type of diagnostic imaging for breasts called ultrasound. There are other modules available that describe other aspects of breast health. This information is taken from a recent review of the medical literature and attempts to be as transparent and comprehensive as possible. However, it may not necessarily reflect the experience of your healthcare provider or the specifics of your situation. This program is strictly informational in nature and no attempt is made to provide opinion or recommendation. Please feel free to view this presentation as many times as necessary. You may also use the player on your left to repeat slides or skip through them in any order you wish. Last year in Canada, over 5,000 men and women lost their lives to breast cancer. Despite it being the leading cause of early death in this country, breast cancer can be detected early and can be treated effectively. A woman's breast is composed of glands that produce milk, ducts that transport milk, supportive connective tissue, a nipple and surrounding areola, and fat, which gives the breast its size and shape. Most women experience periodic changes in the shape and contour of their breasts, such as a lump or lumpy area, a thickening of the breast tissue, an area that feels different, discharge from the nipple, indentation of the nipple, puckering or dimpling of the breast skin, a change in breast shape, or pain. Sometimes, a change in the breast can indicate a health problem, such as breast cancer. Although this will not be true in most cases, it is very important that all breast changes be investigated, for if cancer is found, the earlier it is detected, the better the chance of effective treatment. If you feel a lump in your breast or notice any other change in your breast, don't panic. If you are due to start your next menstrual period within a week or so, wait until after it is finished. Many non-cancerous lumps will go away by themselves with menstruation. If the lump persists after your period, see your doctor. The majority of breast lumps are not cancerous, but getting a doctor to check the lump can ease your fears. If it turns out that an area in your breast is indeed cancerous, by seeing your doctor early, you will be speeding up the process of diagnosis and treatment. For more information on breast abnormalities, please refer to the module in this series titled Understanding Breast Lumps. A doctor evaluates a breast lump by asking you your medical history, giving you a thorough physical exam, sometimes performing diagnostic imaging tests, and sometimes sampling breast tissue through a biopsy. Doctors differ slightly in how they address breast lumps, and each patient's situation is unique. But the general process for diagnosing a breast lump goes something like this. Your doctor will begin by asking you some questions about the lump and about your medical history. When did you first notice the lump? Has the lump changed in size? Have you recently experienced injury to the breast? Have you noticed a change in the number of lumps you can feel? Have you noticed any nipple discharge? When was your last period? Have you recently been pregnant? Are you breastfeeding? Do you or your family have a history of breast problems, other medical conditions, or cancer? Are you on any medication, including hormone replacement therapy? And have you had a mammogram, another breast imaging test, or a biopsy before? Next. Your doctor will perform a clinical breast exam to thoroughly investigate the breasts and surrounding area. The doctor will note the shape and size of the breasts, feel the breasts and armpits for any lumps or areas of thickness, and check the breasts for any skin or nipple abnormalities. You might need to raise your arms, place your hands on your hips, or lie down during this exam so that the breasts can be examined from different angles. The exam usually lasts several minutes. Then, to get a closer, more detailed look at any breast abnormality suspected, 
Your doctor will likely recommend a diagnostic imaging test, such as a mammogram, an x-ray of the breast, and or an ultrasound, which is imaging using sound waves. This presentation discusses ultrasound only. Ultrasound is a diagnostic procedure that uses high-frequency sound waves to create real-time images of inside the body. For matters related to breast health, it can be used to find or assess a breast lump, guide a breast biopsy needle or markers for breast surgery, assist with fluid-filled cyst draining, assess breast implants, help characterize the stage of any breast cancer present, and screen for breast cancer, though this last function is somewhat controversial and is not widely used. Ultrasound can detect abnormalities too small to be felt, can add to information already obtained by a mammogram, can cover areas of the breast a mammogram machine can't reach, and can show abnormalities in dense areas of the breast a mammogram may have difficulty seeing. Ultrasound can also detect non-cancerous fluid-filled cysts with 100% accuracy, allowing a doctor to rule out cancer immediately. Ultrasound is an invaluable imaging tool as it allows us to examine the breast from nearly any orientation. It can result in earlier detection of cancer and help patients avoid further examination or biopsy. Ultrasound equipment includes a scanner, a display screen, and a transducer, a small handheld device that is used to scan the body. Most ultrasound examinations are painless, fast, and easy. For an ultrasound of the breast, the procedure goes something like this. First, you will be asked to undress from the waist up and change into a gown. Once inside the ultrasound room, you will lie on an examination table. You may be asked to roll slightly to one side, with a cushion placed behind your back to help keep you still in that position. A gel will be applied to the breast so that the transducer may easily move over the skin. The technologist or physician will press the transducer firmly against your skin and move it back and forth over the breast until the desired images are captured. The images will appear immediately on a nearby display screen and some patients find it interesting to watch. When the examination is complete, you will be asked to dress and will be given further information on the process of getting your results. A radiologist, a physician who specializes in diagnostic imaging, will analyze the images and send a report to the doctor who ordered the ultrasound. Often, an ultrasound can give the doctor enough information about a breast abnormality to confirm it is benign. In some cases, however, it is not possible to tell from diagnostic imaging alone whether an abnormality is benign or cancerous, and to make the distinction, a biopsy is required. A breast biopsy is the removal of a sample of breast tissue or fluid, by needle or surgery, to be examined for signs of cancer. Even if an abnormality already appears to be cancerous, a biopsy will simply confirm the diagnosis, speeding up the process of treatment planning. Ultrasound can actually assist biopsy. It helps locate breast abnormalities and helps guide biopsy instruments into the breast. Because ultrasound provides real-time images, doctors can view the biopsy as it takes place. An ultrasound-guided biopsy may be performed by one physician, with the transducer in one hand and the instrument in the other, or by a physician and technologist. As with any medical procedure, ultrasound is not perfect. It can miss, overestimate, or underestimate a breast abnormality, and it may not detect breast calcifications, mineral deposits which may signify cancer, as well as a mammogram can. Nevertheless, Ultrasound is a very useful tool to help locate, diagnose, and biopsy breast abnormalities. Other modules in this series include 
Understanding breast lumps. Understanding breast biopsy. Breast imaging through mammogram. And breast self-examination. Here are just a few of many resources available to educate you on breast health, breast cancer, and breast biopsy. These resources may also assist you. We sincerely hope that this module has furthered your understanding of breast imaging using ultrasound. We wish you the best for the future and thank you once again for using MD Conversation.